you holding up? <laughs> I am Henry McKenzie, and I too take the occasional shit. <laughs> it's nice to be among friends. Uh, normally, you know, I'm quite proud to say that they're pretty regular, if we're getting into it. But um, a week or so ago, I was stricken with this bug thing. You know, I thought only the children were getting, and then it hit me. And I didn't shit straight for about a week and a half. And uh, when you're used to a good solid poop, it really, it, it changes your life, man. Oh, I thought I was on death's door. It was terrible. Um, but I'm all right, I'm back. You know, you, you've got to live with it. You oh, are there, oh, there with the poop. Anyway, uh, it's nice to be back in Edinburgh. As you've probably worked out, I'm not from round here. My accent gives it away. I have, of course, come from the east end of Glasgow to be a little And last time I was here, speaking of the east end of Glasgow, last time I was in Edinburgh, I was at the prison uh, playing a show, thank you very much, not visiting a relative or having a weekend. <laughs> It's a very nice prison, by the way. If any of you get in trouble, no one's, you were the Scottish man, weren't you, Steve? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Everyone else is just visiting, right? That's a monopoly thing. I was going to do the day ago. Um, but if you get in trouble while you're here, student man, um, you could get worse prisons. It's lovely, really, uh, from what I saw. But, you know, they probably kept the little nasty stuff in the back. But, um, I had a great time. I got to leave. It was wonderful. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> oh dear, I have prepared stuff, I've had a great time as a child. That's all I'm going to talk with you guys. Um, and before that, before that, over Christmas time, was anyone here in Edinburgh around Christmas? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, a big applause for Christmas at the back. <laughs> um, woo, woo. Uh, I was uh, employed in Edinburgh. Um, oh, oh, I know he had a job. <laughs> 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 he was. He was um, I mean, I wouldn't call it a job. If you can believe it, I was employed to be Father Christmas. <laughs> Shocking. I know. Um, I think mainly so they can save on padding for the costume. Uh, but it's wonderful. I stayed here for about a month and a half. I almost became a local at this touch and go. Um, but it was wonderful. I was working up at the Botanical Gardens. Has anyone been to the Botanical Gardens? Woo! Woo! Yes! Uh, did anyone go there at Christmas? Yeah. Oh, you paid 20 odd quid to look at some lights? Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Thank you. You did. You paid my wages. I was the short Santa. There was a very tall one, and then there was me, and they knew how we both looked when they cast the thing. The magic of Christmas. Um, but anyway, it was wonderful. I was here for about a month and a half, and I was living about a half hour walk from the place. So I was walking back and forth and up and down your lovely hills. And uh, I wasn't really eating, you know, I was having a bit of lunch and going off to work, and um, I didn't have proper Christmas. I was home for Christmas Day, and I had to work again Boxing Day. So, you know, I wasn't sat around eating leftover sandwiches from noon until dusk. So, it was very strange, and I don't know if it's happened before, I need to check, but I think I might be the first person who's ever lost weight playing Father Christmas, uh, which is quite an achievement. Somebody phone Guinness. I could use one. But uh, <laughs> Should we do what I came in to do? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, so yes, thanks. Me and my tiny guitar have come all the way from the east end of Glasgow to play you some songs. Oh, how does that sound? Lovely. Now, I probably only have time now for two of them. But uh, we've had fun, haven't we? We've got to know each other. You're all having a good time? You seem calm. <laughs> If I, may say. I, like, I like to think I've got a bit of a soothing presence. Uh, you're, you're doing well, Stephen. God bless you. Uh, let's let's see how far we can get through this. Um, and it is new, so I'll probably forget all of it. But please bear with me. Um, can we hear me on the back? Yeah. Lady with Crohn's. That's that yes. So uh, this is a little ditty that I've been writing all about. Uh, you know, you know how you get these parasocial relationships with famous people, pop stars, and the like, and then they let you down. <laughs> you know, they do something naughty, or they're scandalous and that sort of thing. And that's kind of what this is about. It's a lament for the people we've lost. 
due to their own bloody malarkey. Uh, <laughs> here we go, let's see how it goes. There we go. He remembers the rhythm. Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. Why do my favorite rock stars always let me down? Turn my big old smile into even bigger frown. They're just like they like us to get rich and renowned. Used to love the noise, now I tremble at the sound. Bruce Dickinson voted for Brexit. Roger Daltrey voted for Brexit. Right said Fred voted for Brexit. Ringo Starr voted for Brexit. Why do my favorite rock stars always let me down? Turn my big old smile into an even bigger frown. You still love the noise, now there we go. Ah, that's just like the actors still, rich, rich and renowned. Of course, I'm really, the meat is in the verses, don't worry about it. Ooh, Ted Nugent voted for Trump. Gene Simmons voted for Trump. <laughs> Selleck in El Nirvana voted for Trump, the drummer from System of a Down. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Voted for Trump. <laughs> Why do my favorite rock stars always let me down? Turn my big old smile into even bigger frown. You do like the actors to get rich and renowned. Used to love the noise, now I tremble at the sound. Watkins, Chris Rock, Ed Sheeran. I'm just saying it's a matter of time. <laughs> Never meet your heroes, lonely let you down. Never meet your heroes, lonely let you down. Never meet your heroes, lonely let you down. Unless your hero happens to meet all of you and uh, any scandals pending <laughs> we'll see how it goes down the road but uh, all good for now what do you think of that? that? that was um, very depressing researching that and um, I, I, I wasn't you know I wasn't mad I was disappointed with a lot of these people like, like the drummer from System of a Down how has he been spending the last 20 years just Ignoring everything around the roots of Grendel. Um, anyway. <laughs> how, how long have I got? This is terrible. A minute and a half left. Minute and a half? All right, let's play a similar sort of vibe. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was, that was a long song, and now this is going to be a very short song. Along the same theme, and I, um, basically, we are aware of Morrissey as an entity. Aren't we? Yeah. Um, and I just wanted to write a song about him being a prick. So, uh, let's finish on that one, shall we? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> when I really oh, started again, <laughs> things haven't really gone to plan. Morrissey in a transit van. Used to be a nice young man. Morrissey in a transit van. He's vegan but loves gammon. Morrissey in a transit van. Racist, sexist, actual BAM! Morrissey in a transit van. 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 Morrissey ain't no charming man. Woo! I reckon I'll keep things short and sweet and bow out at that point there.